2021 Nautique 200 in Admiral Blue Metallic and Mystic White. We also have a bright Chromax on the outside of the boat. Absolutely sleek looking Nautique. I think these are a little sleeker looking than the Ski Nautique. It's really good lines to it. Uh, nice swept back windshield. See the upgraded mirror on it. Come around the transom. Um, when they redesigned this boat in 2018, they took out the saddlebag storage and made it a little bit easier to walk in over the back of the boat. The center walkthrough became a little bit wider. And uh, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna see where the seats are, but you can remove those and make it easy to walk in. But if we had some really good light, maybe Preston can drive us up to the nose and we can just take a look at this uh, metallic. It's really sharp. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Get really close, Preston. There we go, in the light. Gorgeous. All right, let's step on the inside. Take a look at this beautiful 200. All right, here we are on the interior of the 2021 Nautique 200. This boat's really pretty. Step on the inside. Immediately, you can see that we've optioned it with the three transom seats. Um, these are on pegs and the C deck underneath it for traction. So you can individually remove those and put them in as needed or just remove them all the way to make an easy entrance and egress out of the back of the boat. Speakers, courtesy lights come around. Uh, quickly before we get into it, we have a haze gray main theme interior, tungsten stripe with Admiral Blue piping and seat boxing. It gives it a nice contrast. And also we have the haze gray, haze gray, haze gray true weave, my goodness. And then titanium sea deck. Options on the boat include uh, stereo, heater, transom seats, the upgraded mirror, metallic striping, cover, platform cover. There's all the covers and items. Pretty much it. I'll show you one of my favorite things on the new. This is the uh, six liter ZR4. Had this in the lineup for a while, but engine block, cylinder heads, and exhaust manifolds all have antifreeze running through them, and then it's all cooled by lake water going into the heat exchanger. So this has. Um, coils that go through it and that's what the antifreeze gets cooled off with when it goes through the coils much like a radiator but remote oil filter um we'll go around the other side and see the fuel but this is how you winterize the boat and it drains down so you remove those three Move those three and empty the strainer and you're winterized. How simple is that? That is cool. Step on this side. Fuel, fuel filter right here. And then also in the back there is a uh, inline fuel filter that needs to be um, drained as well or ex changed as well. Um, look, you can run the boat off of a hose right here. This is new. This is standard on all the boats now. If you've ever had a 200 before, this new design, 
the motor box is awesome because the old motor box, holy macaroni. That thing was hard, it's very difficult. Step in here and take a look at Link. Start button. Nice exhaust note. Got pull type. Just all your pulls because this is a zero off boat. Course manager. All ball timing. You can turn this on. Vitals. Dummy lights. Helm command, which is right here. Controls everything. Very straightforward, very easy. All right, see a little bit of running footage of this beautiful 200. All right, Mark's in the Nautique 200 with the six liter ZR4. little bit of a sharp contrast <laughs> compared to what we're normally out here in that thing turns on a dime there it is guys Nazi 200 give us a call in three boat works thanks for watching